And the real reason that I actually bought and contracted this property is really this right here, guys. This huge ass lot comes with this home. It's 50,000 square feet. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Derek, AKA Flipping the House. If you're new here, we talk real estate, financial literacy, and how to get better. And today is no different. We're actually gonna be taking you through two properties that we own in the same neighborhood. They're three minutes apart from each other. And we're on the south side of Houston and I'm gonna break down the numbers, why we decided to buy these properties and give you guys a quick walkthrough. And then at the end, when we finish in a few weeks, we'll come back, revisit these properties and hopefully they should be finished around the same time. But let's go take a look at the back and then uh, we'll go through the inside as well. All right, so I'm starting in the back here because I really want to touch base on the exterior of this home. As you guys can see, there's a lot of good features going on and that's the reason I felt secure buying this house. Up top, we have a brand new roof or not brand new, but at least within the last five years, we have double pane windows. The AC system is only seven years old, I do believe. And then once we go inside, you guys will see it's mainly a cosmetic flip. Now, the reason I like this neighborhood is because I've wholesaled a few homes in here. And then, like I said, we got this lead and then it's been three weeks uh, since I got this lead. We closed about a week and a half ago. And then I just got another lead and we literally paid around the same price for both homes. So, like I said, we're in the Ridgemont subdivision. We picked this home up for $140,000. We'll end up putting around $25,000 into it as normal probably a little bit less because all the majors are good on this home, which is a key point, right? And when I say majors as a refresher for you guys, I'm talking roof, foundation, electrical, plumbing. And like I said, the main five or the five majors on this property is in good condition. And just as a refresher for you guys, we're talking roof, electrical, plumbing, HVAC, and foundation. All of those are good on this house. So it's mainly a cosmetic rehab that we'll be doing on the interior. As you guys can see, we have a nice big lot and then we'll be repainting the outside of this home. That's really the only thing that we'll be doing. We'll be giving it that nice white paint with black trim, but let's go take a look inside and see what the interior looks like. All right, now, as we come inside, guys, one thing that I really like about this home is that I just flipped another home with the exact same floor plan. Now, like I told you guys in the last video, a lot of home builders in the 70s and 80s, they just did the same type of designs just in different neighborhoods throughout Houston. And it makes it a lot easier because we already know what to expect and what homes will sell for. And just so you guys know, this home is a three bedroom, two bath. It's right around 1300 square feet, which is ideal. And then we have a one car garage, which is a good selling point too, because a lot of people like to put their cars inside. Sometimes they'll turn them into an extra bedroom in this neighborhood. You can get rid of the garage. So that's always an option. But when we're selling, I like to keep the bedrooms. I like to keep the garage where possible. But as usual, we, be, we will be doing white paint in here, black fireplace, and then we will be doing quartz countertops. We'll get some new trim down here and get this all painted out. Uh, new flooring throughout. And then uh, let's go take a look at some of the bedrooms. Now, like I said before, these homes are pretty cookie cutter. We have two bedrooms here, a hallway closet. We have the guest bathroom. And as you guys can see, we already have the shower's demoed. My towel guys are gonna be getting started today. And then back here, we have a really decent size master suite. Um, and then closet in the back, and then a pretty good size master shower as well. Like I said, we already have this ripped out. My towel guys will be coming today. And then once they are done, we'll start on the paint and everything as well. But pretty simple stuff. Like I said, it's all cosmetic, paint, flooring, new tile, quartz countertops throughout and then we'll get this bad boy listed. Now, like I said before, homes in this neighborhood, they sell from 220 to 230,000, given how nice ours is gonna be. And we have the nice features such as the double pane windows, the new roof. We'll probably try to push that 230,000. So all in, purchase price 140, we'll be putting around 25 into it. So we'll just say all in will be around 170 to 175. And then we'll list the home for 230. After repairs, inspections and everything, uh, we'll probably end up around 220, 225, given you know what they request, how good is the offer that we're accepting. But I really like this home. It's gonna be an easy, quick one for us. But I wanna take you guys to the next house because even though it's very similar, there are a lot of differences. And I paid about $2,000 more for that house 
But when you guys see it, you're gonna understand why and why I felt comfortable pulling the trigger on that property and overpaying, even though it's a little bit smaller in square footage. All right, now this is the second stop, second house. Like I said, we are three minutes away from the first property. And as you guys can see, I mean, just looking at the exterior, this home is a lot rougher. We're gonna need a new roof. I mean, we got garage door issues and I haven't even taken you guys inside to see how much drywall is missing in this home. So like I said, I contracted this property without seeing it because I felt comfortable with the numbers. And the real reason that I actually bought and contracted this property is really this right here, guys. This huge ass lot comes with this home. It's 50,000 square feet. So I don't know the exact boundaries, but I'm assuming it goes back here, this corner. I mean, all of this is 50,000 square feet. Now my thought process when I contracted this property was take the house, even if we break even, it doesn't matter because we have all of this land. Now I sent it to my replat guy and he didn't work in Fort Bend County, which is where we're at, but he sent me one of his friends. I spent about an hour on the phone with him and his team yesterday. And they told me, unfortunately, I'm probably not gonna be able to build anything. Now, the main reason is because if you guys see that sign down there, it is a petroleum gas line that runs through this property. Now there's certain restrictions that come with that. And I have to wait till I get the survey back that I can see what the easements are. If you guys remember from one of my other videos, I talked about easements, but basically these are just lines that the county has access to and certain utility providers, whether that's gas, electric, water. Some of these can sometimes be moved. If it's electrical, it's a lot easier, but once it's underground like this, it makes it very hard to be able to do anything. So my plan is to get a survey, then I'm gonna reach back out to the guy and his team to see if at minimum, we can at least fit one more house. My plan originally when I contracted this property was to easily build three more houses, worst case two. And now I'm like, how can I finesse at least one more house? And we will make money on this house and I'll take you guys inside shortly, but this is the money maker, right? So even if I can't build anything, this will easily increase the value by 10, $15,000. Cause I mean, guys, it's, it's huge. It's 50,000 square feet. Uh, this house alone, they typically sit on six to 8,000 square foot lots. So if I can subdivide it and make something happen, it'll be a great deal, right? But that's why we always look at properties from a different angle, right? How can we always add value? How can we make more money off of the investment? And there's a couple other ways I'm gonna do that as we go inside. So let's go take a look at it right now. All right, so as we come inside guys, we're here in the garage. And as you can see, a majority of the dining area there's no drywall. I don't have cabinets. We're gonna have to run plumbing. There's just a lot of things that need to be done that I didn't realize when we contracted this property, but because it comes with the land, it didn't matter as much. So I see the AC furnace is missing. So yeah, like I said, we're gonna have to replace the furnace. It's missing, uh, which means that the AC condenser is probably gone as well. So that's gonna be four or 5,000. Roof is probably gonna cost me six to 8,000. And then the rest is pretty much cosmetic similar but different layout to the other house but uh we're gonna make it work and then i'm gonna show you guys one last thing that i'm gonna do to add value and then uh i'll give you some rough numbers of what i think is gonna be worth but this house is supposedly only 900 square feet and it's a three bed two bath but i do believe it's a little bit bigger because i mean to get three bedrooms and two well it's three bedroom one and a half bath currently but the bedrooms are back here we have a full bath but this is one of the bedrooms. They're a little bit smaller than the other house. They've already got the tile demoed in the shower. So that saves us a little bit of money as well. And it looks like they started doing some PEX plumbing throughout. So I have to have my plumber look at that too. And then let's go take a look in the master where the other half bathroom is as well. So I'm standing here in the master bathroom. We have the toilet that's gonna be here. And then we have the vanity that would go here, but I'm gonna rearrange things because we have a huge closet here for a master. I'm actually gonna cut it in half and make this a shower. It's gonna be a small one, but that way we turn this house into a full three bedroom, two bath home. So that's really it guys. That's how we add value to a property, right? We're gonna add an extra bathroom. We're gonna clean it up really good. It's gonna be one of the best looking homes in the neighborhood. And then we have this huge land that we gotta figure out. The land is our safe spot. Cause honestly, if it was just a house on a small lot, I wouldn't have felt comfortable buying this home but the land is the savior. So even if we are able to develop, if we're not, we'll still make some money. It'll be a good project. We have two homes in the same neighborhood, so it'll be easier for my contractors. 
So it's a win, win, win. But if you guys have made it this far in the video, make sure you like, subscribe, turn on post notifications. If you're not already, make sure you're following me on Instagram and TikTok. Until next time, peace.